In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace an old cord and a switch on an ordinary household lamp that could be a fire hazard coming up right now. Hey everybody, Rudy here from the Home Improvement Channel with another video to help you fix things around the house. Today I'm going to be working on an antique lamp. I'm going to be changing the cord and the switch. And this method will work on an antique lamp or a new lamp. It doesn't really matter. It's just the same thing. All right, let's dive right in. Uh, here we got problems already. What the hell's going on now? All right, this lamp here is a basket case. The threads are all stripped on the inside of the lamp, so we're going to be fixing all that. Uh, but I wanted to show you how this comes apart anyway. I mean, all I'd have to do is pull this and cut it and it's gone. Um, but typically you don't run into that. So I'm going to show you how to get it apart real quick. Uh, take the uh, harpoon off right here. Just pull these little uh, holders up and then squeeze it and it comes right off. And um, this part here usually just pulls up. All right, and the um, switch assembly will come out of there. Now keep in mind, there's a piece of cardboard here. That's going to be real important to put that back when, when it's over. Except I'm not using this. And you got screws here. These are easy. I have run into a case a few times where these wires go directly up into the switch and there isn't any screws. So if you run into that, just take a pair of wire cutters and cut them off. That's all you have to do with those. Typically the new switch is going to have screws, so you shouldn't have any trouble getting that back on. All right. Now this part here normally would be threaded down. Uh, sometimes there's going to be a set screw in here somewhere. If there is, undo the set screw so you can unthread it. And then, of course, you unthread it, and then that's the end of that. And then, of course, this part is just uh, the keeper. So it's ready to come out. Now, most of the time, this one used to have a felt pad on the bottom. If there is, you're going to have to find a way to get that pad up without tearing it up, hopefully. Um, start with a, you know, a sharp knife and just kind of easily work your way under there and work your way around it. And then when you put it back, hot glue is a good option for that, to put that back. And uh, also, typically, there's a rod that goes through the middle of the light that, that kind of the cord feeds through. This one doesn't have any of that. Um, so I'm just going to pull this out right here. Here's the part that's stripped, so bye. And that's it. This is junk. I don't ever want to see it again. All right, well, typically this part will already be done on your lamp, but um, I'm replacing the thread right here. So I'm just going to show that real quick. Luckily, my hand fits up in there. All right, I got my threads inserted there and adjusted to the height of where I wanted it to be. Uh, so just thread this on. This one does have a set screw is what I was talking about earlier. And I'm um, going to use that to uh, tighten it up. Now one tip that I would throw in there is don't set that set screw too tight or you'll wind up messing up the threads underneath there and then when you take that off next time you'll strip the threads out. So that's just a little tip. It doesn't need to be that tight. Okay, I just wanted to point out a couple of things on the end of this cord. Uh, you guys probably already know this, but just in case you don't, you have a small prong and you have a larger prong here. Uh, the small prong is the hot side of the plug and the larger prong is the uh, neutral or uh, ground uh, coal side, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is, if you notice on the cord, one side is going to be smooth and one side is going to be grooved. The groove side goes to the neutral side of the plug. You don't want to get this backwards. 
Um, so that's the reason I'm saying that, is to observe the plug and look for the groove side and make sure you get that on the neutral side of the uh, plug. Now if you don't have it peeled already, um, if you have a pair of wire strippers like this, that would be a good thing. You can use a razor knife if that's all you have, uh, but these work great. Um, just give it a squeeze and just do that and that's all there is to it. Alright, and once you peel the, uh, the wires, just kind of twist them together just for now just to get it through the uh, the tube and the lamp. Okay, there is something I wanted to mention about the cord and the switch and all the parts that I've got here. This is just some crap that I had laying around the house that I'm able to use that there's nothing wrong with, but you can buy these in a kit, probably at Lowe's or Home Depot or a hardware store or something like that if you don't have this stuff already. I just happen to have it, and I'm doing this on the cheap, so that's the reason uh, I didn't mention that earlier. All right, moving on. Uh, like I said earlier, usually there's a tube that runs through the lamp, so it's not going to be a problem to, uh, to get the, uh, the cord to go through that. But if you don't have that tube and you've got a situation like this, and say your hand doesn't fit up in the lamp, well, my solution for that would have been to run this down through there. This is just a piece of copper wire or anything that you can find that'll go through there and put it through the bottom and then tape the cord to it and then that way you can pull it up through. But in this situation, um, I can put my hand through there and I don't need to do that. All right, I got the cord sticking up through there a little bit. It was a little bit tight. You might run into that. Um, also, make sure you uh, feed the cord through the appropriate holes in the lamp, otherwise you're going to be taking it all back apart again. Just feel a little bit more up in there, and then I'm going to pull some up a little bit more than I need. That way I can hook the wires to it. Next, pull these apart and go ahead and twist these back together real good. And you're probably going to want to put a knot in there. Uh, sometimes that knot is more of a pain in the neck than it's really worth, but you really should have the knot there. So just tie a knot, and that'll keep the cord from pulling back through again. Try to keep the wires pretty even on both sides of the knot. All right, pull that back down like that. And take some long nose pliers and just bend a little loop around the end of it right there like that. You can even do it with your fingers. Right, now remember what I said earlier. Make sure and find the uh, groove side and the smooth side and make sure you know which ones they are. Because on the switch, you're going to see one side has got a brass screw and one side has got a silver screw. The brass screw goes to the hot. The hot is the middle of the light bulb right here where the uh, bulb makes contact. Now if you were to reverse these and put the hot on the silver screw, this outer shell right here is going to be hot. So if somebody was to come in here and touch this with their finger, um, you could get electrocuted. You probably won't unless you're grounded somehow, but you don't want to take a chance. If your feet are grounded, then you're going to get uh, shocked at least. Let's see. This one is grooved, so we're going to go with the neutral on that one. And you're going to want to bend that loop around the side, that, uh, the direction that the screw tightens up clockwise. Because if you tighten it up the other way, it's going to make that come undone. So pull that down tight with the knot right there. And make sure your cardboard sleeve is in here. Because that protects these screws from shorting against the, uh, the metal right there.
that's all you got to do is once you get that sleeve in there just push this down just like that and it locks in uh, now keep in mind if you have a switch like that see where the harpoon goes right here make sure the switch is kind of facing opposite of that so that way when you put the harpoon back the switch isn't in the way all right let's go ahead and do that just if it fits a little loose just squeeze it like that and it'll go back in there and stay a little tighter That's it. Uh, can I get some assistance here? I need a light bulb. I hope it works. <laughs> all right. Yep, that's, that's all there is to it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with many household-type videos from time to time. Thanks for watching. Oh boy.